Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So today we're looking at some double play feeds, and we're looking at Francisco Lindor. Man, I love looking at Francisco Lindor. We're going to look at balls hit to our right that we have to sidearm feed to the second baseman. Okay, so this is double play feeds from the shortstop position. All right, we're going to get into it here. We're going to break down uh, some of the fundamentals. There's a few different ways to do this play. Lindor likes to... Well, he'll use all different types of things, but right here he drops to a right knee. And so let's talk a little bit about um, you know, dropping to this knee and get into more specifics. So here we go, ground ball. Now here's the first rule. All right. Now the general rule is, uh, you know, we draw a line through ourselves and we say, okay, a ball hit at me or to my left, I underhand feed. A ball hit to my right, I sidearm feed. Now, you have to take into consideration the positioning of yourself also. You can see that right here, we're playing the shift, right? So we've got the third baseman here, we've got the shortstop here, and we've got the second baseman on the opposite side of second base, okay? And so although this ball is hit basically right at Lindor, he cannot underhand feed this, right? Because he's too far away. So what does he do? He turns it into a sidearm feed. All right. Now, he does it a little bit differently, and some guys will do this. He drops down to a knee. Right? So you'll see some players come over, feel this. They'll drop their left foot back and open up a little bit. He likes to just drop down to his knee. When he does this, his feet and body are in line to throw to the second baseman. Right? And so dropping to a knee is fine, and it's... Like I said, there's, there's multiple ways to do it. I always think that you want to have different tools in the toolbox to be able to use. And so you can go out and try different things. In my experience, the dropping to a, to a knee works when you're not moving fast to your right. So something like this, where maybe you're playing in a shift or you're just a little bit too far away um, to be able to underhand feed it. And so again, you've got to sidearm feed it. So you drop down to a knee, I feel the ball, and I toss it. Okay, so some other things to think about. Uh, when you're dropping down to a knee or you're just doing a normal sidearm feed, I want to take the ball from where I field it. And we always talk about, you know, if you've watched our videos before, when you field a routine ground ball, you're going to bring the ball to the middle of your body. Well, on this play right here, you're going to field this ball, and I tell the players to bring it right basically to their armpit. So the ball is going to come from here right to your armpit as you're doing that. You're going to be getting a good grip on the ball. And now once the ball gets here, you're in a position where you're already ready to throw, right? It's going to be a quick, short throw. There's no wind-up. It's just bring the ball to your armpit. Now you're going to take the ball out. It comes up, and you throw. Right? Notice how short that is. Look at that short arm action. And you can practice this. This is a very easy one to practice. Just literally put the ball in your glove. You don't even need someone to roll it to you. You put your ball in your glove. You get in this position right here. You bring the ball to the armpit. You take it out. You throw it. So, you know, when I'm working with middle infielders, we'll do this where we'll just I'll put them down the ground, either on a knee or um, they just open up in position to throw. And they're just going to bring the ball up right to the armpit, throw it. All right? And the rule that we'll usually say, we'll tell players, I'll say, hey, you've got to pretend that you're standing in water, or in this case, you're kneeling in water, up to your waist. And I, here's your water. It's a good artist right there. I don't want that ball to go below. I don't want that ball to get wet, right? So I just bring the ball here. I don't take it from here. Again, I don't take it from here and go big, long arm circle. I just take the ball out quickly, up and out up and out throw it notice also he's trying to throw this ball uphill so we always tell our infielders I want to throw the ball uphill I don't want to stand up and throw downhill and if I'm on a knee I don't want to throw from a high arm slot because then the ball will go downhill so the ball has got to be thrown from a low arm slot see that arm slot right there so he's tilted over I know it's a tough angle to see but he's tilted over pretend that your your um 
head and the ball are connected by a string. Or your nose and the ball, same thing. Your nose is on, on your head, I guess. Um, he's going to be over this way. So the lower your arm action is, the more, or your arm slot is, the more your body's going to be tilted over. The higher up your arm slot is, the more vertical your upper body's going to be. All right, so again, low arm slot. If you're thinking about a clock, that's about a, what, a 3 o'clock arm slot right there. And so, again, practice different arm slots. You've got to practice a 1 o'clock, which is a little higher. Maybe a 2 o'clock, which is a little lower than a 3 o'clock. If you can get 1, 2, and 3 o'clock, because different plays will ask for different arm slots, if you can practice that, well, then you can, you know, you can turn double plays. You can throw on the run. Every play may call for a different arm slot. And so when you're warming up with, with your buddy, playing catch, go, th go through the different arm slots. That's what we make sure we tell our players to do. Again, the uphill feed. When I'm feeding this ball, I want to make sure that I can give this ball to the second baseman above the waist. Again, I want the ball coming uphill. If I stand up and throw downhill, well, then I might hit him up here, but I also have a chance of hitting him down around the knees, right? And then the, the second baseman has to turn his glove over, right? Do I feel it with my fingers up or fingers down? It kind of ties the second baseman up. But again, if I feed it uphill, then if I miss, I miss high. So that, we're always telling guys, if you're going to miss, you miss high, throw uphill. That's a really easy turn for the second baseman right there. So that's all we have. Those are some of the keys. Check out our other videos in our defensive playlist or infield playlist, I should say, because we have outfield and catching and all that stuff. Um, I'm sure you'll learn something there. And that's all we have. Thanks again. We'll talk to you later.